Hey Dreamer, welcome to Webisode 4. I'm your host, Michael Ford II. I was having a conversation with a good friend of mine a couple of days ago, and he was telling me about uh, a time when he was down in Florida. And he was in an area where there were lots of yachts, lots of very, very expensive yachts. And he, while he was taking pictures of them and admiring them, a woman came across and told him, you know, these are actually the, the baby yachts. These are the little guys. The real yachts are, are off in the Mediterranean somewhere. And those yachts are like three to four hundred million dollars. The ones you're looking at now are only 20 million. And as soon as he said that, I started thinking, we get caught up so much in the comparison game that we have a very hard time just enjoying where we are in life. And as a dreamer, you got to be very careful that you don't get caught up looking at what someone else has, looking at the dream of someone else so long and, and so hard that you end up changing the very dream that God gave you. You end up altering your dream to fit someone else's dream. It's no longer your dream. Now you're walking around with someone else's dream, trying to achieve someone else's goals, trying to capture someone else's future, trying to purchase something that you don't even want for yourself. It's something that someone else wants, but now because you've been looking at their boat so long, you don't understand that this is no longer your dream. You got to be very careful because there's always, keep this in mind, there's always going to be somebody with a bigger boat. And if you keep your mind focused on the bigger boat, you'll have a very hard time enjoying where you are in life. I mean, just think about it. The other guys ride by and they got 300 to 400 million dollar boats. And here you are with your small 20 million dollar boat. But it's a 20 million dollar boat. Why would you care about those other boats when you've got a beautiful 20 million dollar boat right in front of you? You know, you, we can relate this to marriage. We can relate this to our relation to other relationships, friendships, our jobs, you know, our careers, whatever it is, our children. Do not get caught up in the comparison game. I promise you, I promise you, there will always be someone with a bigger house, a better car, a bigger yacht, uh, a bigger goal. But this is your dream. Maybe you don't have a dream to speak to thousands, but you want to reach the 10 kids in your neighborhood. Be very, very intentional about your dream. Embrace the dream that God has given you. Embrace your own dream and do not get caught up in the dreams of others.